Hello everyone. For today's demonstration, I'm going to show you how to install VOC Player on Windows 10. So let's begin. I'm going to be using Firefox for this demonstration. Feel free to use either Google Chrome or Internet, uh, Microsoft Edge, excuse me, or any other browser that you prefer. So let me open up Firefox. So on the URL, I'm going to type up, I'm going to click no. I'm going to type www.video. D E O, yeah. V A N dot org. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click on download VLC. Give it a moment. Then click save file. Mind you, if this doesn't open, you can click here. So, save file. Okay, that's about. I was about to say my my connection should be a little faster, but okay. So we're gonna click on the folder. It's up to you. You can click it here straight, and it's gonna start the uh, the installation process. But I'm gonna just do the long way. So I'm gonna click the folder. I'm gonna double click on the installer. The reason why I just click on here is just to show you that it's gonna be in the download path right here on the left side. So down download, uh, excuse me, double click on the VLC uh, installer, then click yes. I'm going to minimize the Firefox browser. Let me minimize this as well. Click OK. Click next. Uh, agree on the license. Click next. All right. Let me double just check. Oh, what's yeah, everything's fine here. Click next. The default lo that's this is the default location. Click install. It should take one to a few minutes. It's based on your computer specs, but it should be done within a, a few minutes. Uh, leave the check mark as it is. You're gonna just run the VOC media player and click finish. We're going to leave everything by default, regularly check for our VOC updates, and allow metadata network access, and click continue. If you don't want none of this, uncheck it, but I'm going to keep everything by default, and click continue. And this is how you install VOC. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace.